Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. This Lex. It's everybody's favorite America. Let's get into this. Miss Nicki Minaj. And, and by the way, y'all, we really do have exclusive audio. All right. Shout out to one of the barbs. They sent me in some exclusive material. We got some real right work for you, baby. So we got Miss Nicki Minaj, Miss Nicki Lewinsky going in on why these record execs have been trying to hate and run hate trains on this woman. America, y'all gotta hear this. Make sure y'all subscribe. We almost at 1,000. Let's get it, baby. Are well in their right to do and say whatever the fuck because they support my brand with their hard-earned money. So they are well in their right to say whatever they want in a respectful way if I'm following them. Okay? Okay. They're well in their right to say they want this song over that song. And I always ask them because it's their show. I'm not performing the show, the songs for me. It's their show. Really. Wait a minute. Who is this? Who just said that? Let me block her ass right now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Darnik. Darnik said, babe, I always ask myself how mentally you take these things. There are few people in the industry that can. Love you from Africa. Well, babe, again, when you Sexual have God, aesthetic. when you have an incredible fan base, you know, and you're, you're, and you're talented. See, that's the thing. I can walk in a studio. I don't even have to go to the studio. Sometimes I just w wake up, literally wake up out of my sleep and write six to eight bars of a song, okay? You see, that's why all of the labels that thought that they could Sexual simply aesthetic. have the barbs as a fan base for anyone, that's why they're in trouble now. It's not how it works. You see, they are real people, smart people who know the difference. Does everybody like to have fun sometimes? Yes. But when it comes to purchasing someone's album, gimmicks will never sell an album. So I'm gonna take about five minutes and I'll be back. Hopefully everyone who's not supposed to be in here will go. We don't want no Laffy Taffy aliens. All right, y'all. Now, this is what we've been saying. Nicki Minaj, and, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think Nicki Minaj means to do what I'm about to say. She just has this this hold on the market. The barbs, they they don't they don't really care to listen to anything else, especially after Pink Friday 2. That album was so sonically diverse. The the barbs, they don't really care to listen to anything else besides Nicki. Put it like this. Ice Spice did 20, did 30,000 units. If Ice Spice signed to Heavy on it, I estimate that she would have did 60,000. If Ice Spice was, was rocking with Nicki for real, for real, she would have probably did about 40 to 60,000. JT would have probably did 50, 40, 50,000. And that's just a testament to Nicki Minaj's influence. Megan Thee Stallion did what? 60,000 or I can't remember the exact number. It was like 48,000 to 60,000 uh, within that 12,000 mark range. That right there, that's not that good depending on how you look at it, depending on her deal, right? They said that she has a management deal and now a music a lot of the times is being put out digitally, right? You know exactly how much how much copies you're gonna get how much copies you're gonna ship out if you're gonna make cds and do vinyl you would do that through your pre-orders and stuff like that right the real cost is promotion cost Nicki minaj ain't really go crazy and market pink friday too like that and she still managed to do almost three hundred thousand units if she would have really went crazy with the marketing she says she's working on a new project now pink friday three if she goes in with the marketing for that nikki could do a quick 350 400 if she does bundles easy and that's in a way what she was saying in that audio not verbatim but she's saying look the barbs the barbs is they they know the difference they could tell if you just trying to 
randomly cash out on on what Nikki got going on. So Ice Spice, she was pretty much talking wild about Nikki on those text messages, doing thirty thousand. Well, Ice Spice, access to the barbs is priceless, <laughs> and, and in a way, Nicki Minaj, I'm sure, will really help her with her music, give her certain tips and and priceless advice on how you could dominate the market like how Nicki Minaj dominates the market and honestly y'all once again I don't think Nicki Minaj gets up got up 20 years ago because she has about a 22 decades long career at this point I don't think she got up 20 years ago and said I'm going to be the only female rapper that people listen to America that ass i don't think she she did that it's just certain fundamentals a certain approach a certain level of quality like the other day me and the empress we was listening to the only song with nikki lil wayne chris brown and i think drake was on there with them as well and i was like yo like this is a real classic song right here like, it's a club song it's a club banger but it's like a legendary great record it's it's one of the last great records from that era where i was like yo like this song is fire yo when nikki's verse came on that this is what what makes a, a verse fire and classic no matter when you play it and let's be honest a lot of the the, the artists coming out nowadays they are not doing that but aside from that, what y'all heard Nikki say, that also goes in the way. Y'all tried to get Nikki to sign off on one million dollars for the title deal. The Nicki Minaj did two hundred. Nicki Minaj did almost three hundred thousand units by herself with barely any crazy marketing or like the Hollywood budget. Y'all, y'all really gonna try to give her a million dollars? America, it just doesn't make any sense. And that exclusive audio that y'all heard, yeah. Nicki Minaj was going in and make no doubt about it that digital real estate as we call it Nicki Minaj has a lot of equity there I'd probably say about 70% of the the woman rap demographic it's like yeah you you gotta you gotta turn it up with Nicki and best believe it when Nicki Minaj renegotiates her her master's deal a her deal is going to be crazy I wouldn't be surprised if they give her like a 500 million dollars like maybe even a billion dollars for real for real because I spice would have really sold way more records if she would have rocked with Nikki how she was supposed to, right? And instead of going trying to go in on Nikki and in a text message with your friend that exposed it, why you ain't signed to Nikki for a few years? You could have even had a deal with, with the same company that you got now, cut Nikki in, and yo, everybody would have benefited way more. They should actually make Nikki like a, a, a global president or a, a global head of like of um i don't want to say women's rap department but after cardi b it was a woman rapping marathon you seen like a million women rappers a lot of them under nikki's tutelage they would have came up but i think a lot of the women rappers don't realize that nikki probably don't really have a problem with the women rappers but it probably be a lot of the execs at the label for a lot of the stuff we're seeing now even when lotto was going at her in my opinion i think nikki was trying to build with lotto and i don't remember the exact details of that but i think lotto kind of made an assumptive move on nikki and nikki is never really going at it with with the artist it's probably the, the people behind the artist that might get in the artist's ear y'all get what i'm saying now that's just speculation but i mean let's call it for what it is you want to sell thirty thousand, or you want to sell sixty thousand, and you're not going to do that other Nicki Minaj is that all right if if it ain't running through Nicki a, a lot of the times it's, it's not getting busy now Meg she's coming up but see like what happens is Nicki Minaj announcing that PF3 Nicki getting in that bag and staying consistent with great quality music d there is no competing with that and and I and I think that this PF3 is going to be her best project in my opinion right I'm, I'm actually very excited to hear it because because I know 
know it's gonna be a great body of work. I know this might sound wild, but I could see that. Nikki got the numbers to match, the audience to match, the impact, the fanfare to match. Y'all let Nikki creep out of here with, with a number one album exactly. again, and it's better than Pink Friday 2? Come on, that's pandemonium all over again. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're almost at 1,000. Make sure y'all tap in. It's everybody's favorite. Y'all know it's Astro Aesthetics. Let's get it. Baby. Yeah.